friends today is the day finally it's here i'm going home it's insane it's gonna be quite a journey we're gonna be starting in hong kong obviously that's gonna be about a three and a half hour flight to incheon korea where i will spend about four hours laying over there after incheon i'm gonna be getting on a plane to seattle it's gonna be a straight shot from seattle to anchorage after about a one and a half hour layover in seattle so all in all, things are looking really good. Let's get started, guys. I'm so excited. I need to finish up packing. I've got just a few more things to do. I need to say goodbye to Cass, which is going to be super sad. Um, so yeah, uh, quite a few things to do. I'm leaving in about two and a half hours. Like two different species, still the same. Like Should I just leave it like this? Yeah? And just like that, Obi-Wan Kenobi is dead, and I am suddenly 10 years younger. Also, for anybody that hasn't caught on yet, like, I'm shaving my face to get a good seal on those N95 masks when I'm on the plane. I don't want to be that one guy that ends up bringing the virus back to my hometown after they've managed to somehow avoid it this entire time. So yes, I'm taking this very seriously. But I also need to hurry because I've only got like half an hour until the boat gets here that's going to take me to shore. Amazing. I'm here at the midship gangway. We're about to get on the tender. And yeah, things are happening quickly. Cass. Hi. Hi. Um, I didn't get any footage of us saying goodbye to each other when I got off the ship, and I feel like that's kind of an important detail that people are going to want to see. And what do you want me to do? To say goodbye to you now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, goodbye, Kaz. I'm going to miss you so much. It's, I, we might never see each other again. This is going to be terrible. It's a very emotional time. We're both crying and sobbing in each other's arms. And then I passionately kiss you and then leave forever on a boat. Go. <laughs> Are you, is, is that enough? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry I didn't film that, guys. I... <laughs> It was, it was, it was a lot. There was a lot going on. Okay. All right. We're getting back to the video now. We're going, <laughs> we're going back to the video. Okay. Thank you. I'm on Lance. First time in five months. I'm finally on Lance. All right, so initial impressions of the Hong Kong airport are incredible. Not only is the airport very empty at the moment, like there's hardly 
anybody traveling right now. Everybody's wearing masks, everybody's social distancing. If I were just to kind of rate the amount that it appears that they care about the pandemic, I would say definitely a 10 out of 10. This is incredible. People aren't traveling if they don't have to, it appears, and people are taking it very seriously. So yeah, good job, Hong Kong. I hope you guys get democracy and stuff. I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I, I really hope China doesn't take you guys over. So I checked the seating assignments and stuff online before I got on this flight. And it does turn out that Korean Air, at least, is booking all of their flights to half capacity. So they've got empty seats running down this side, and empty seats in the middle of the plane, and empty seats on the aisle seats on the other side. Now, even with that plane booked at half capacity, there's, like, nobody on this flight. This is probably the most empty plane I've ever been on, personally. Pop safety video. Awesome. And just like that, we're in Korea. So checking in here from South Korea. Things are actually looking really good at this airport. A lot of the same stuff we were seeing in Hong Kong, social distancing, pretty much everyone's wearing masks and there's like no flights going out of this airport. And when I say no flights, it's like, you know, 20 or 30 flights in the day. But all things considered, South Korea seems to be doing an excellent job and they seem to have a very good handle on things here. I am pretty confident that I'm not gonna catch the virus as a result of going through this airport. But we'll see what things look like on the other side in the US. So I made it to Seattle. I'm through immigration, I'm back through security, and I'm heading towards my gate now. And just some thoughts. So it looks like they're not doing any mandatory temperature checks for anybody going in or out of the airport at the moment. If that changes, I'll let you guys know. The Seattle airport has made face coverings and masks mandatory, at least for this airport. I've heard that that's not the case for every airport in the States at the moment, but at least Seattle seems to be taking this pretty seriously. Social distancing is also a requirement. And for the most part, that's being followed. Like people are still keeping to their individual travel groups. But generally speaking, people are doing a pretty good job of social distancing. I did get in the train to come over here. There were 20 to 30 people shoved in one train car and you know, it is what it is. But this really does make me realize how much our transportation industry is really not set up to handle something like this. It's just really difficult to move a bunch of people from one place to another without getting them really close together. And you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but it's kind of scary. Also, the guys at Customs and Immigration didn't ask me anything about the coronavirus or COVID-19. It was literally just a extremely standard immigration straight through with no complications whatsoever. And I feel like they should have at least taken my temperature or something before I entered the country, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get to McDonald's. Oh, yeah. 
So I made it to Anchorage. I had to go out of the terminal and claim my bags, and then I'm coming back in now, and I'm hopping on a flight to Fairbanks so that the drive home doesn't take quite as long. So I've got about an hour here until the plane boards, and then we will be headed up to Fairbanks to finish my journey, and then I've got to drive home. Almost there, folks. Almost there. So my mom and my sister are on their way to pick me up right now. They brought two cars, one's for me and one is for them. So I'm gonna drive back by myself to my house and then quarantine there. So I just gotta wait for them to show up and I'm here. I made it. I'm back in Alaska. This is awesome. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Air I'm hug. So you Air hug. <laughs> All right, let's drive home. Mask is coming off. Oh, that feels good. Okay, let's go. I have finally made it back to my house. Oh, things are great. Got to see my parents, got to see my sister. We all got a social distance and stuff and they've made this very special room that's completely sectioned off from the rest of the house for me to quarantine in. But the challenge is that I gotta go through my window to get into the house in order to properly do the quarantine thing. So I gotta figure out some way to get all these bags into my room through the window. So that's that's going to be a real a real pleasure, I'm sure. <laughs> I got to take my shoes off. Don't want to get mud all over my bed. We didn't take I am in. 